Hey yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy here, and today we are going to be looking at the top 5 best cars for new players inside of Pembroke Pines. I know I've done this video 3 consecutive times in the various other games, but you know, I'm just trying to help out some people, but if you guys have any cool video ideas I can do, leave them in the comments below. Now, I've seen some of your ideas, uh, like the bacon hair one, uh, I do like it, and I might, I might do those videos when I have more time on my hands, because sometimes I'm really constrained on time when I do make these videos. Also, do you guys like my hunt fit? But yeah, we're going to be looking at some of the top 5 cars without game passes or anything, under $100,000 that you guys can afford uh, after a little bit of grinding, or if you're just a new player in general and have a little bit of extra cash to spend. But yeah. Why don't we get into this video now before this video starts? I want you guys know that I do go to Roblox Trooper, Roblox Merch, I got a Discord group you can join, and I got some socials you can follow, all the links are in the description below. But why don't we get into the top 5 cars under $100,000 that are good for beginners. So, why don't we go on to the money and the cars section here, you know, because we can look at the cars here. And um, let's start off with number 5. The 2019 Toyota Camry for $29,000. Yep, this car right here, pretty good car, pretty solid car for a new player. I mean, it looks nice. You can color it and a lot of different colors and it still look pretty cool i do like the car myself very nice car turns well and has a decent bit of speed overall if i were to rate this car at a 10 it'd probably be a solid 8.6 it's so it's a solid car for a um car that's in this regular i mean normal pass all right but yeah why don't we move on though to number four let's go try to find it because number four is hiding somewhere on this list all the time i, I always have the hardest time finding it but yeah here we are, the 2020 Accord Sport, $32,000. Now, this car right here, pretty quick, pretty nice, holds a bunch of people, you know, if you want to hold a few friends while you're, you're driving around, you know. And uh, it's generally one of the better cars. I've seen a lot of people use this car when they're um, playing the game. And I do recommend it myself as a, as a player player. It is pretty good for new players. It's not bad at all. It goes pretty quick as well, and you know, you have the capability of holding a lot of people, like the Camry does. But uh, if I were to rate this out of 10, I'd rate this a solid, you know, 8.5, only because of the rims. I don't like the rims, I'm just kidding. But yeah, rate 0.5 out of 10, rating for the Accord Sport. But why don't we move on to the top of the list, well, I mean, top of the normal place, where you can find the 2021 charger gt all-wheel drive for thirty-eight thousand dollars. So now i know the prices seem like they're getting a little higher every time i look at some of these cars they might be but these cars are under 100 grand and these cars are actually really good for grinding especially the 2021 charger gt and uh, it's so it's it's a, it's a quick car it's mainly just do it for the speed so you can go on bo down both ends so you can grind out more cash really easily and it looks nice so if you want like a sporty type car and not have to look like um, a newer player you can get the 2021 GT. Now, you would be recognized as a newer player, but you won't be recognized as easily because it's a sick car. It's not bad. And that also applies to the Challenger GT. The Challenger GT is pretty much the same thing as the Charger GT. Not much is different with the two cars. But, um, yeah, it's it's just how both of the cars are. I mean, get one of the two cars. doesn't really matter. They're both just good if you want to go both ways and get right more. The 2022 Civic Sedan coming in at number two. $29,515. Now, this car is actually a newer, you know, year car. That's why I kind of put it on here. It's a newer, it's a newer year. So, 2022, pretty cool, recent car, too. It's in the normal pass, which is, you know, hard for some of the cars in this normal pass to be, since now they're kind of adding newer cars into this pass. But being a sports type car and being able to hold people and it being really nice and it being a new model all wrapped into one package is pretty good of a deal to not pass up that car is pretty quick pretty nice and turns all right but yeah if i would put this on the list it will be on the list because it's actually not that bad but yeah that civic sedan if i were to rate it at a 9 out of 10 for its placement and you know just in general if I were to race it in placement, they placed it here for a pretty good reason. I like it here. It's a pretty good solid 10 out of 10 placement. They put it here for new players. I like how new players are having access to newer modeled cars. And then if I were to rate it out of a car, I'd rate it, you know, a 9 out of 10. It's, it's, a, it's a decent looking car. But yeah, why don't we move on to the final car on the list. Now, all of these cars that I've mentioned, you can swap around, you know, add your own. You know, these, these are kind of like my preferences. I'm not like, they're not in specific orders they're just kind of how i like it but uh yeah 2021 avalon forty four thousand dollars now 
It's a really, it's a, it's a newer model of car. Well, actually, it's this December, so I guess it's kind of going to get outdated by like the end of this month. But yeah, actually, like not even ten, nine days. But yeah, 2021 Avalon. It's a newer model of car. Not bad at all. Looks nice. Has good speed. Holds a lot of people. And it's just a generally good looking car overall. Now, do I recommend this for, you know, grinding? Uh, of course, if you wanted to grind, you can use the car, but I recommend using more sporty cars. If you're using this for RPs, and you're just kind of like an RP player who makes money off the side, definitely use the Avalon. It's a pretty good car, Pretty, it looks pretty nice, and it's generally one of those cars that kind of like fit into RPs. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what car, what game, what thing I should do. And um, yeah, comment down below what would be on your list if, I were, if you were to do uh, like a tier list of cars. And uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Good. Bye.